Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and uh, today I'm going to be talking about Selector Inheritance in SAS. Uh, and so, Selector Inheritance is pretty useful. I actually, to be honest, don't use it all the time, but it can uh, keep your code a little bit more organized, and if things get sort of cluttered, it can sort of clear up that. Um, and so, um, from last time, I, I didn't change a whole lot. I pretty much wrapped the second paragraph in a div, and I called it Feature. And I also gave the paragraph a pair one uh, class name as well, um, just so we could illustrate that these are pretty much the same, except for the only difference being this one has a heinous blue border. And so, um, as you can see in my CSS, you know, typically, I mean, if we weren't using SAS, we would have to do something like grad uh, intro and then comma grad feature and then for the next uh, sorry not comma um, and then for if we wanted to do um, like the pair one inside of that we would also have to do grad intro dot pair one and grad feature you get the point um, basically we'd have to I mean this this gets sort of long pretty quickly. Um, although using SAS it kind of clears it up. As you can see here with nesting all we had to do was add the comma feature and then it gets all of these um, these things as well. Uh, with selector inheritance it pretty much allows you to keep feature out of having to use commas here and uh, what you can do is you can extend other uh, classes or other um, other CSS properties into um, other classes. So let's get rid of this feature here and then down here in feature we're going to add a um, at extend and then we're going to say dot intro and then semicolon. And so this is just saying you know take everything from dot intro and um, and then also apply what else you want. So we have a border one, a solid pixel of blue. So we save this and we give it this a refresh and you can see nothing changed. Let's give this um, yellow just so you can see this in action. Save. As you can see, um, feature now extends intro and has everything from intro except for it has a yellow border as well. So that's it for Selector Inheritance and our SAS Basics series. Um, I hope with these five videos it can get you going on SAS and then uh, allow you to experiment a little and try some interesting things. Uh, next up we're going to be doing a advanced SAS series and it's going to feature some pretty cool things that you can do with SAS that you might not have thought of yourself and getting into a little bit more advanced uh, functionality. We'll also be getting into things like Compass that extend SAS and make it even more useful. So leave a comment if there's anything you want to see in that, or um, if you have any questions, feel free to subscribe so you can know when our latest videos are coming out, and uh, we'll have lots more very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.